my gosh, I love this song. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool. Everything is awesome. Always use a turn signal. Park between the lines. Yes. Drop off dry cleaning before noon. Read the headlines. Don't forget to smile. Always root for the local sports team. No sports team. Always return a compliment. Hey, you look nice. So, so do you. Drink overpriced coffee. Here you go. That's $37. Well, awesome. Hey, guys. So I'm continuing with my web series. So this is the second episode in the Build with Chrome series. So where we left off, we had just finished building some towel or something like that. So I'm just going to continue with the challenge. So next challenge. I wonder what they're going to get us to do now. Oh, that's cool. I don't remember what her character's name. Wild Style. That's right, Wild Style. So I'm doing something in the West. Looks, looks very Western. In the middle of nowhere, in the desert. So, what do they want us to do today? Alright, what do they have big plans for? That's actually kind of cool. Alright, so, okay. What do they want us to do? we can look. Oh, okay. So they want us to add, it looks like they want us to add the pillars outside the front. Alright. Oh, no, they want to stay on this page. So that shouldn't be too difficult. So let's choose the right color. This one. Here. I think it's three. Alright. Boom and boom. Awesome. Yep. All right. Yeah, there are a lot of different objects, and it's kind of nice to see what's going on. All right. So now they want me to build. Looks like a little overlay. Oh, I see. A little over, a little shelter thing to the side here. kind of easy and quick to do. So I'm just going to do that real quick. One, two. Great. Time to build the roof. Okay. How do they want us to build the roof? Oh, piece of cake. All right. Just plop that down in there like so. All right. So I'm just going to close this because it's sitting back here. All right. So they want us to build some sort of railing on the front here. So it looks like one of these bright green is the right green color. Looks like it. Um, slightly colorblind, so pardon me if I get the colors a little bit mixed up. This definitely looks green though. But all right, and they want these two little things in brown. All right. Cool, another one done. So, anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know that I uh, designed a interesting introduction to this show, as you've seen on this episode. So, my last episode, I released uh, two versions of it, one with an introduction and one without. If you guys have any recommendations on a better intro, I kind of just squeeze one together so that I could uh, get it going and, you know, show something. Uh, let me know in the comments section below, and I will totally take into consideration because my current uh, introduction is pretty bland and eh. um, so yeah if you totally have any recommendations or even if you want to design one for me I'll be more than welcome um, but uh, yeah if I'm also looking into doing more sound effects there was only one in the last video if you uh, saw it if you heard it um, so I'm thinking about definitely doing some more sound effects because I think sound effects are awesome. Um, and I'm currently just using, because I'm on a uh, Windows machine, I'm currently using a tool called uh, Open Broadcaster. Um, it's a free tool that you can use to do screen sharing and video recording and stuff. And the nice thing is it has a direct link to uh, YouTube so you can just set your videos and then uh, post them straight to YouTube which is basically what I'm doing with this um, I did that with my first video uh, there's a like I said there's an alternative version which has a sound effect and an intro to it so it's about 
30 seconds longer, I think, of the ma major. But uh, it has an introduction. Um, and uh, that I edited through through a different program. But, um, yeah, so I hope you guys are enjoying this. It's a bit slow right now, but slightly distracted. Um, so I guess I can also take an opportunity to kind of tell you guys about interesting things about what's going on in my life. So uh, I'm currently working at uh, HP. I'm a software designer, um, but I kind of just do this for fun. But uh, a few days ago, I got into a got into a car accident. Um, I'm fine, and the person who I got in the accident with is fine and everything. Um, but it wasn't actually my fault. So I was uh, pulling out of a pulling out of a driveway. Well, it was it was out of a park area, and uh, I was in a uh, right turn or a straight lane. And there was another woman who was in the uh, left lane, but it was a turn lane. And she tried to basically tried to s get into my lane as we were crossing the intersection and collided with me. Well, I'm still a new driver, so I kind of like panicked and oh, kind of panicked and thought it was my fault or whatever. Oh, what's going on? Oh, but uh, yeah, it was it was a very interesting ordeal that happened. Um, it's not my fault, which is good because since I am a new driver, I didn't want my insurance premiums going way up. But uh, where does this go? So ah, I see. Um. But uh, there wasn't too much damage. There was a slight dent to the side of my car, um, which will be need, bleh, which will need to be repaired. But like I said, nothing major. No one was injured. Um, but definitely got to be careful. Got to be a defensive driver. Um, never had anything like that happen to me before. So just a very strange feeling when you get hit by something. Uh, uh, see, look, my color blindness. No, it's definitely not that one. Uh, I swear I got it in the right place. Ah, I see. Never mind. Um, but yeah, very strange feeling to get hit by another vehicle. Car kind of all shook and scraped noises and stuff, but <laughs> thought I was at fault initially. Well, found out I wasn't because the woman was in the wrong lane. Um, but uh, yeah. That's interesting. Something interesting that happened to me lately. Um, what else is new? So, so I've been interested. Uh, I'm interested in doing a bunch of other designs. So, if you guys want to, do put designs down below. Um, in one of the other videos later on, I will be showing you. I'll be showing you the a bunch of other stuff that I've designed, and um, it'll be more of a slide sh uh, slideshow. It, there's just a bunch of documents that I have with uh, screenshots. So what I'll do is take those screenshots and uh, turn them into a quick video. Um, let me know what you think, and I'll kind of describe them and in, uh, in detail and tell you how long they took and stuff like that. Most of the stuff doesn't take too long. It's fairly straightforward. Um, you just have to have some patience, and you know, it's all it's all in what you want to do. Um, I just decided to do certain things and went with it because I'm creative and in some aspects, definitely not when it comes to my hands. I don't have. Oh, it has to be one of these. Yep, yeah. uh, definitely not when it comes to painting, drawing, anything like that. But uh, but yeah, so. Okay. Nope, not there. So this is very difficult to see sometimes based on that. Looks like my piece is rotated that way. So that means that that piece is... Nope. Nope. I'll get one of these days. Nope. Alright, let's start with these pieces. Oh, I have the wrong color. Ha! Huh. See? Color blindness. Nope, wrong one again. Color blindness. Um... Yeah, it's 
kind of strange. It's hard for me to see certain colors sometimes. I have a red green color blindness. So it's actually one of the more common kinds of color blindness things. Um, it's a fairly large percentage, not large, but relatively speaking, uh, men are more prone to color blindness than than uh, women, which, yeah, you know, men aren't quite as creative as women, so. Ooh, this looks challenging. All right, so they want me to take. How do they want me to do this? So they want that to go. Oh, how do they want this? This is actually kind of challenging. So I might open this up. This is kind of nice because it allows you to look at things closer. So they want me to replace these two bricks here with different colored ones. Okay, I think I can do that. All right, so let's take that. Oh, let's go a different color. Oh, that's not cool. This is actually kind of challenging. Um, let's see, I might have this completely wrong idea. All right. So, wow, this is not the greatest view. So it looks like that's what I have so far. Oh. Nope. Okay. I'll open this back up again. So, let's see. What's my view? All right. So, all right. So, it looks like that's what that is, but so far I've only got this piece huh this actually looks kind of challenging so I've got this piece is here that piece is there oh. so it looks like I want to put a piece back here but it's not that right color interesting so maybe I'll try the color that it is oh there you go I just had the wrong color I swear that doesn't look like that brick is not the same color as that. Maybe it's just me. Like I said, I'm colorblind. So, yeah, this is actually really enjoyable. I've spent many hours just building, creating, designing stuff on this. Um, so that's why I said any suggestion. Be glad to kind of try to build it at least. I don't know how completely successful I'll be and if it's what you imagined it would look like but any suggestions um, willing to build a skyscraper try and build vehicles vehicles kind of difficult because of the fact that there's the whole thing with tires and circles and you don't really have circular uh, things like that so it's a bit challenging oh cool police boat oh yeah Liam Neeson Liam Neeson's character in that movie was Oh, it was so funny. Thoroughly enjoyed his character. Yeah, the two face. Here we go. Here's the here's the creative one. Ooh, I get to use the inverted pieces. Awesome. So yeah, his character Cardi cracked me up. Good good cop, bad cop. Um I'm done yet. I don't I don't know Hi, if anybody I'm could have done his role as good as Liam Neeson like did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, actually too bad. Probably one of the most badass characters I've I've uh, seen. I wouldn't be surprised if he showed up in one of the Expendable movies. Um, trying to do something crazy. Well, better create a windshield. Yeah, you don't want to. Don't want to get hit by water and whatnot. So, ooh, that looks not very. Uh, the doesn't look the same from both sides. Oh, wrong piece. Come on. Uh, let's see, there's one, so it's there, one goes there, and it looks like this, let's rotate you, rotate you, alright, and then I need two white pieces, one of those, one of 
Fish. <laughs> what? Alright, let's look at this. Oh, it's not. <laughs> it kind of limits your ability as long as it. I feel like they should have you have the ability to do it how you want until it gets to the point where just so it, you can put whatever pieces you want down just so it, it's two four two two by twos is the same as a four by two so I always gave them different names when I was oh time to build the engines when I was a kid I used to give them strange names well not strange I used to call this like a six because it was like four two that was a four, another six. That was like an eight for some reason. But that was an actual eight, so yeah, two, four, six, eight. Yeah, I don't know. I gave them strange names when I was a kid. Um playing with Legos. Used to design random things as a kid, you know. I was kinda creative. I really liked Legos. It's like you could build whatever, break it, and build whatever again. Um it would always get on f I would always get annoyed if uh the Legos would break, if there wasn't a good foundation or whatnot. That would be great if you had like a control Z undo or where I'm from, control Z. Um just so that uh people could f fix things in real life. Uh, I because I use computers all the time. I've noticed I've been doing things in real life, and then I'll say, "All right, let's undo this." Control Z. Oh, wait, I can't. There's no such thing as Control Z in real life. So, yeah, a bit of a challenge, but uh, you know, clearly not in the Matrix for because of the fact that we can't undo things. Um. Uh, what else? Looks like three black. Okay. But, uh, yeah, so. Okay. I'm actually finding it a little bit difficult to try and talk and build at the same time. Uh, especially since it's getting to the point where I'm just talking about random stuff. Um, but, uh, boom. All right, two more styling details, and we're set. Cool, I get to give it another set of lights. Yeah, that's what it looks like, another set of lights. Um, really looking forward to some new movies that are coming out lately. Mm. Oh. Ah, wrong piece. Um, Amazing Spider-Man looks pretty good. The other movie that I've been wanting to see is... Uh, um, the Muppets Most Wanted, um, maybe because I'm a huge Muppets fan, and I've always enjoyed the Muppets. Used to watch the Muppet Show as a kid. Um, I should go see that movie since it's probably not going to be out much longer if it's still out. Uh, oh, I get to have Blackbeard or whatever his name was, Metalbeard, whatever. Um, Greybeard. Wow. Yeah, this ship looked really funky to me. It was so like unbalanced. Uh, yeah, you do need a stronger bow to your ship. That's kind of cool. Grab the t tall inverted pieces. Yeah, this this ship just didn't... Like, seriously, let's look at it from this angle. Like, it's so short this well, this way, uh, horizontally, and so tall. Like, I don't know. That boat just wouldn't work for me. Um, but anyway, back to the movies that I'd, I'm interested in seeing. So, uh, I'm interested in seeing the new... Uh, Amazing Spider-Man movie, uh, mainly because it looks like it's going to set up a lot of interesting things for the future movies. There's going to be at least one more, I, I bet, if not more. Um, uh, oh, I, yeah, I know I don't need to put it over there. Um, uh, what else looks really good? Uh, like I said, the Muppet movie. Um, I haven't been particularly interested in seeing Captain America 2. Uh, a couple reasons. One being that, yeah, I'm really, I really like the Marvel Universe movies. Um, they're great. Uh, they keep keep me entertained and all that. I really enjoyed Iron Man and and I did enjoy the first Captain America movie. But I guess the biggest thing is the fact that they kind of uh, 
the movie, uh, sorry, not the movie, the TV show Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. kind of ruined it for me. Um, like, I can't, I knew what it, like, I, I'm the type of person to go and find out what happens in a movie. Um, what, what is going on? What is going on? It looks like I should be able to put a piece there. Let me look a bit closer. Oh, I know why. It's the wrong color. Um, so, anyway, the TV show Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. kind of ruined it a little bit for me. Um, mainly for the fact that it they told, tell you what it's going to be. So, uh, kind of spoiler alert. Um, until the end of this challenge, I'll probably be talking about uh, Captain America. And even though I haven't seen the movie... I do know what it's going to be about, so just if you don't want to hear anything, uh, be spoiled by Captain America 2 or Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. or anything like that, I would mute your volume now. Um, and when I get to the end of this challenge, I will stop talking about it. So, uh, anyway, Captain America 2, the whole thing with Hydra infiltrating S.H.I.E.L.D. and all that jazz, I don't know, it just kind of ruined it for me because of the fact that I didn't. Uh, for them to be for them to be a part of shield the whole time eh. and then apparently in Captain America 2 when it ends um Nick Fury is supposedly dead which you find out in Agents of Shield that he's not but there's yeah that TV show it's still entertaining and I'll still watch it and everything but I think it's I like the fact that they brought Agent Coulson back to life however they brought him back um, and they're bringing in some interesting characters um, from the Avengers movie uh, one of them, I don't remember what her name is, her, the actor's name or sorry, the actress's name or the, the the character she plays in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. but um, it's the actor who plays uh, Robin in How I Met Your Mother but apparently she's going to be in a couple of episodes of uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., so that'll be kind of cool. Um, it'll be interesting where they take that, the whole thing with S.H.I.E.L.D. in the next few movies, mainly for the fact that it kind of was the gluing, the glue, or the, the building blocks of uh, the, the Marvel Universe, so for them not to have those movies anymore, uh, sorry, not to have those movies, for them not to have S.H.I.E.L.D. anymore, because for whatever reason, um, it's going to be it's going to be challenging. Um, I noticed with the the Guardians of the Galaxy trailer, even though people say it's not going to be linked, which I have this sneaky suspicion it will be, to the other Marvel movies. Um, it looked like the Collector was in it, um, and the whole idea of the Infinity Stones. So that'll be kind of cool if if that's kind of the new building block and uh, link between all the movies, um, and how the Avengers are going to still exist considering it was a S.H.I.E.L.D. initiative. Um, so that'll be interesting. And the other other Avengers that they're going to add to uh, the movies. Um, but, yeah, so that's... I haven't been particularly interested in seeing Captain America. Um, I'll see it eventually when it comes out on Blu-ray, DVD. Basically when it becomes available to see through some streaming service. Um, uh, but, yeah, if you're interested, I would go... I would, even though I'm not interested in seeing it, it's not a bad movie. I heard it is a pretty good movie. Plus, Robert Redford's in it, so... Which surprised me, because he's not usually in those sort of comic booky movies. Um, but... Ooh, it's going to be challenging. Um... But, yeah, I was told it was a decent movie. I'll eventually see it, like I said. Um, other movies that I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing are, um, like I mentioned, The Guardian of the Galaxy. That just looks really funny. Maybe for the fact that uh, Chris Pratt's in it. Um, I think he's a really funny actor. Um, I thoroughly enjoy him in the... Oop, I thoroughly enjoy him in the... TV show Parks and Rec. I think he's really funny in that. Um, another actor, that, actress that I'm looking forward to is uh, Karen Gillan. She's in the new 
Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Um, I thought she was really good in Doctor Who, so I'm going to be watching that. Um, so, uh, yeah, looks like I've just wrapped up the sailboat and I've finished uh, this challenge. So I guess I should stop uh, talking about Captain America, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and stuff like that. Um, let's see. Well, I guess I sh can do one more challenge. I'll do one more and wrap this up. Um, alright. Ooh, Spaceman. Oh, I love this guy. He was so funny. Um, his whole line, spaceship! Uh, but, yeah, let's make a spaceship. Let's make a spaceship. La oh, launch pad. Sorry. We're not building a spaceship yet. Yes, it is always good to plan ahead before building. Oh, I see. Oh, that's a good view. That allows me to see what's going on a bit better. Um, yeah, at work we make jokes. Uh, there's a couple of us who really enjoyed the the movie, the Lego movie, so we'll be walking by each other and just yell out random stuff, uh, like, Spaceship! Mm. Or um, the other one that we say a lot is, uh, Everything is Awesome. Great line, uh, considering they made a made a uh, music video for it and everything like that. Um, yeah, that's that's a pretty funny line, um, especially since uh, I'm a computer programmer. So it's kind of like when everything's working, everything is pretty awesome. Uh, all right. That's an interesting design. I'm not sh quite sure what it is, but he's the spaceman, so he knows what's going on. Uh, all right, complete that one. Killing the color right is so important. Is it really? I think I'm color kind of colorblind, so I don't know how important colors are. Uh, yeah, Ford. but uh, cool. Uh, what am I missing? Ah, oh, God, that's hard to see. Boom, and boom. Cool. So I haven't actually gone through this tutorial before. Oh, God. 80 of these things. Uh, I swear it's this color. Yep. Um, I haven't gone through this tutorial before when I started this using this build with Chrome thing. I kind of just decided, hey, let's build random stuff. And my first thing, as you'll see in a future episode, is uh, my... Uh, is my double decker bridge with uh, a cargo boat going underneath it but um, usually my inspiration for building random things is kind of just like stuff around my ha house that I have uh, like my DS or my uh, Game Boy or um, company logos whatnot so it's kind of what my inspiration is um, there's a couple that I w wasn't able to post on there. Um, one of them was my alarm clock, which is... That was kind of a challenge, mainly because everything was black on it, and it's really hard to see when things are level, and I tried to put as much detail into it as possible. Um, but overall, I I kind of enjoy... Which pieces am I missing? I used 80 of them. What's different? What's different between mine and theirs? Um, um, let's see. This is kind of strange. I'll rotate this the right way so it's. Oh, I'm missing that one little piece. Wow. Cool, looks like that was a quick challenge. Now it's time to build a spaceship, of course. Nothing Benny loves to do more than build a spaceship, of course. Spaceship! Spaceship! Oh yeah, assembling stilts. Yeah, the idea of stilts is pretty cool. Oh, jeez. It looks like... Uh, is it opening the new tab? Ah, yes, here it is. So, wow, it's literally a 14 high on all of these. All right, let's go green. 
There we go. So it'll be fun. Uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So at least I know how high I need to go. Maybe for the fact that it's telling me that I can't, shouldn't go any higher. Okay. Uh, and I didn't really want to figure out how much high I needed to go. Alright, one more piece. Well, a set of pieces. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Alright, let's go up a couple of levels. Eh, I'll go up one more. Alright, get to build my spaceship. Now, which side is the front? It looks like this is the front up here. And it's going to be blue. Oh, of course it's blue, because he's a blue spaceman. I think the scene where he actually gets to finally, Benny gets to finally build his spaceship is a great little scene. It's like, spaceship, spaceship. So, alright. Uh, let's see, I got the wings, I got those two pieces. Uh, oh, four more of these. Alright. Wow, my stomach's grumbling over here. Getting hungry, building Lego is interesting. I haven't had anything to eat in a while, so... In a few hours, and I'm always hungry. So, as soon as I... So this will kind of be my final challenge, once I finish building his spaceship. And then I'm going to call it classic space color. I don't know there was such thing as space color. But uh let's see, add a couple yellow pieces. Let's see. Uh, uh so this comes off. I don't know how aerodynamic this is in a real spaceship, especially when it's trying to get out of uh, of the atmosphere. I think the whole premise of the Lego movie with regards to uh, the whole super glue thing I thought was really cool. Um, mainly for the fact that you know as a kid I was never the type to like super glue my Legos together because I thought it's like hey you know what I want to build s stuff with it later so nope oh, not quite far enough it needs to be yeah right there um, mainly for the fact that you know I want to tear my Legos down transport them uh, there, there you go uh, transport them and be able to build something else and you know just have fun with it I think I don't think the Lego company, when they first designed Legos, ever wanted to you know super glue have them super glued. Though funny story, I was at uh, Orlando, Florida, last year, actually about this time, about around May, at a Cornell Cup competition, and we we had the opportunity to go to um, uh, Walt Disney World, which I thought was really cool. Because I'd never been there before. What piece am I missing? Ah, I uh, got to go to Walt Disney World, and it's, I guess you can call it Downtown Disney. There's a big Lego store there, and everything. Um, ah, there it is. Uh, and they've got a bunch of like Lego structures outside, which I think are kind of cool. Um, but one of them is, I think it's like a cliff face next to the store, and it's, it looks like a typical rock cliff face area, but, um, but there's this, so there's a brick there that kind of just stands out, and they all look, they all look like they're, they've been super glued, or some, some sort of adhesive to keep them together, um, and there's a, one of the bricks is a completely different color, like it just, you know it doesn't belong there at all. What is going on? So this is out here. This is near the back. I need to take a closer look at this. Um, one of the pieces stands out pretty badly as... Uh, 
as not belonging there. Like it's, I think it's like bright green or bright purple, something like that. So it's kind of funny to to see. Um, how do they want us to design? Oh, light bulb. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, but one of the pieces there, you know, it's not meant to be there. And some kid just had fun putting it there. But I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't a kid. But uh, some someone. Ooh had fun putting a random brick there just to see if it would stand out and clearly it does um but uh yeah we i i went over to it and tried to take it off and it, that piece comes off but none of the other pieces come off so clearly they've been super glued plus the fact that i'm not surprised that they've been super glued but also that um also that there's ones that are kind of like in water so I feel like the super glue is kind of necessary. Without tail fins, ugh, jeez, tail fins, of course. Um, make them blue. He, something about him in blue. Uh, oh, what? Oh, it's these things again. Um, but yeah, it was it was really cool. That Walt Disney World is huge. Like we only got to spend a day in Epcot and part of a couple days in. Um, and downtown Disney, but uh, I'll probably go back there someday. I've been to Disneyland several times, so to be able to go to Disney World was really kind of cool. Took a bunch of photos and had a bunch of fun. Um, oh, this, oh, yeah, so this is what I was talking to you about earlier, about in the last episode, where you can make things float, which I think is, like, one of the coolest things ever. So the idea that you can build something and then remove all its support and it still stays there so I guess there's no s there's like sort of a sense of gravity in this thing because like I'll place a brick up here and it drops it but I don't know as you can see like when you try to drop things fall but uh... yeah I guess there is sort of gravity but I do like the fact that you can build stuff and then just let it sit there in space. Kind of gives me it kind of reminds me again of the whole Minecraft thing. Oop. Oh yeah, so that's also one thing. Um in this one of there's a bunch of shortcut keys for this. Um and of course the big one is uh if you want if you do something that you don't want to do, you can quickly undo it with control Z. Woohoo! We're flying away. Yep, in our spaceship. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to finish this up, and I'm going to uh, call it a night. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you have any suggestions or anything that you, any comments or anything like that, or suggestion on my uh, intro, because honestly it's a bit lazy, or anything you want me to build later on, I'll take those into consideration and, and build them when I'm finished doing this tutorial and showing you the other stuff I've done. All right, see ya.